Hey folks, um, mm, it's Wednesday. Feels like a Monday. It has been a day. There is not enough rum in the world, but we're gonna try. So if you watched my What I Ate Today video from Tuesday, you'll know that my car was in the shop. Well, they called me and told me it was done today. So I picked it up, started driving home got about five miles away, the same thing happened. So then I had to wait an hour and a half for a tow truck. <laughs> and then, well, it was more like two hours because I got an Uber and left my car there after an hour and a half. And I, anyway, I got back home late, had to sign back into work and finish my work day. So now we're gonna watch Amber Lynn and uh, I may not be very nice. <laughs> We'll see what she has to say. Um, looking at the title, Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, I'm not even sharing my screen. This is how on top of it I am today. Dunkin' Donuts taste test, last weigh-in in huge grocery haul. So the thumbnail, she had some haagen -Dazs. If you want to have a donut, have a donut. If you're trying to lose weight and want to have a donut, at least just try to work it into your calories. You know, I'm having some rum and coke. I ordered a pizza tonight because I just didn't have the energy to fix anything because I was still working and I was tired and frustrated. I had two slices of pizza, which is which was 600 calories for what I got, which works into my calories for the day. So I'll have about 1600, 1650 calories for today, which isn't too bad considering. It's still below my my um, basal metabolic rate, or the, the TDEE, total daily energy expenditure. But, so I mean, hey, if she wants to have a donut, more power to her. She can have donuts all damn day. But if she's trying to lose weight, she just needs to work it into what she's trying to do. So I suspect, now we'll see if I'm right. She does have, she told us in her last video, which I need to edit and upload my reaction to. I have it recorded. I recorded it day of, but I've just been really busy. She said that she was going to do an inpatient or an outpatient uh, like eating disorder program. And she's starting that in March or she has an appointment in March. So I am almost willing to bet that she's just going to go off the rails until she starts that program. She's doing her last weigh-in. So she's not gonna be uploading any more weigh-ins. So we're not gonna know if she gains any weight and she's not gonna have any kind of like accountability except for wifey. We will see what she has to say. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I need to speed her up. Sorry for the... Okay, so it is the 18th of February, so I'm going to put my weigh-in right here. So that means since starting noon three days ago, I'm down like 1.6, so I feel good about that. I am logging all my calories. Okay. I don't really feel comfortable giving like a calorie limit of what I'm eating right now. Uh, mainly because I just feel kind of self-conscious about it and I don't really want people to like sway my opinion and just sway what like Noom is trying to do for me here. So yeah, Noom, Noom will give you a daily goal. My daily goal is between 1,300 and 1,400 calories. Um, that's really not a lot. Uh, so I, I, I do try to aim for those numbers, but if I hit 1,500 or 1,600, I don't beat myself up about it, you know, cause I'm still, I'm still below, you know, 2000 at least, which should be a maintenance kind of, kind of calorie range. So she's probably going to be at like 3000 calories for what she's able to eat according to Noom, which is a lot of food. Anyways, um, today has been super busy. I have been packing cause I'm staying at a friend's house this weekend. I have been just getting ready for the day, cleaning up a bit because I want to come home to like a clean apartment. I'm not really sure 
what I'm going to be filming, if anything, this weekend. Um, I am bringing... She said the 18th. When was the 18th? Where's my calendar? Where's my mouse? Good Lord, I cannot function right now. Where is... Last Friday. So the 18th was last... It took me way too long to find out when the 18th was. My scale with me, because I know you guys have been wondering if I'm going to be doing that, because I do have a mukbang that will be going up tomorrow. Did she say about, she okay, was I'm taking the scale? I'm sorry. I am, because it's important that I continue this okay, weigh in is. every day. Noom also wants you to weigh in every day, so I have that support. Plus, my girlfriend weighs in every day, so I have that support. I just realized I forgot to put on lipstick. That's okay. So this is like one of it's the most It's fine. You look fine. I couldn't wear it for the longest time because it didn't fit me. I got it from Torrid months ago, and when I got it, it did not fit, and it fits now, so I love that for me. Good. Okay, so we're in the car. You know, having... Having something that you bought fit again is really nice. I'm able to fit back into my pre-pandemic jeans. <laughs> um, so when I hit that milestone last August, I was super happy that I was down down a, a jean size. So, you know, being able to fit back into something or have something not feel as tight as it usually is feels really good. And it and it really makes you want to continue that that progress got my blue at least it does me to go i have it on shuffle on my spotify waves by mr props it's gonna be the first song uh my girlfriend is actually in the store she's gonna get herself an energy drink and i think she's gonna get me a little snack and a diet coke we have twinkie waiting for her oh, twinkie. my girlfriend actually got her this look at that little so coat because it's <laughs> that's so cute on twinkie oh butthole might have to, might have to censor that out. You know, I, I normally think it's stupid when I see people with dogs where they've shaved the dog and then put a coat on it because it's cold. You shaved its fur off. What do you expect? But Twinkie doesn't have a lot of fur to begin with. So I can, so I can see putting a coat on Twinkie. Been cold out. Twinkie storage. Oh, and you guys. My scale is down there. Oh, That's goodness. what that contraption is. Okay, you guys, so it's February 20th. It's been a couple days. I didn't film anything. Sunday. I think I put myself in the mall for maybe a total of two seconds, probably one second, which here is. Death and body I had works. such a good weekend. And oh, she's wearing that, she's wearing that hideous pink lip shirt. I didn't think she was gonna wear this. This is the one that had the belt, right? And as the weekend was ending, I was like, you know what? I wish I would have filmed, you know, even if it was just like snippets, like I just genuinely had such a good time, like went places, went shopping, literally went to the mall. Like it was just such a good time. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And you guys are about to get a grocery haul though. Good. Because so, Instacart's on its way. Uh, we didn't really feel like going to the actual grocery store. So we just did Instacart. Such a long, but amazing weekend. I just need to get better at like filming it. So my bad. And I did not actually weigh myself while I was at my friend's house. Mainly because I was like, what's the point? Because I actually don't have permission to film inside their home, even if it's just the scale, which is totally fine. Like, everyone likes their personal space. You don't have permission to film inside their home. Is that just an excuse? Or could you have just been like, hey, guys, I need to, you know, just take a quick picture or a quick little three-second video of my scale numbers. Do you mind if I do that when I first wake up in the morning? I'm sure they would have been totally fine with that. It wasn't like you were like, oh, look at their house. Here's my friends. I I, I think that's just an excuse to not have to have weighed, weighed in over the weekend. And I know a lot of people don't want their like home on YouTube. So I understand. But I did weigh myself, uh, I want to say it was like 30 minutes ago. It was after I ate a full-fledged meal, um, been in the car for quite a bit of time the last few days. And so I am swollen all that. Um, I did get back up to 500.6. There was a little bit of oh. alcohol this weekend. So this weekend was definitely... Oh, 506. That's... She was, what, like 497 last time? 496? That's a big gain over the weekend. But it could be water. It could be just... <laughs> it could just be she's retaining water. Not 10 pounds of water, but at least a couple of pounds um not in my weight loss plan but i'm not gonna sit here and justify it is what it is i had a good time okay it always is what it is miss amberlynn because you never take any accountability
grocery haul. I got two things of baby carrots. Okay. Got some peeled fresh garlic, so I don't have to peel them. Okay. Got a thing of cherry, or this is not a cherry, this is a strawberry. Strawberries. Got some pineapples. A lot of fruit. Some good old watermelon. I what recently wrote a poem called Watermelon Kisses, so if you guys are uh, wondering about that, you weren't. Got some cuties. Lovely. We needed some more jasmine and rice, because we have this like almost every single night. A lot of rice. Got some honey. I'm going to be eating this tonight. It is what it is. It's haagen honey salted caramel almond. Pretty excited. Really? You're gonna eat that whole damn thing tonight. For that, got some Sarah Lee's of light bread. This is the honey whole wheat. Some bananas. Beaners. Got some grapes to put in the freezer because I personally think grapes frozen taste way better than just like fridge grapes. Got some stallion. Two things. Or, you know, green onions. Ground chicken. Soy sauce. So this is oatmeal. I figured, I want, figured I'd give it a try. It's better oats. It's 100 calories, maple and brown sugar mm -hmm. for an easy breakfast. Tylenol. Tylenol. Last but not least, some fancy I just don't like that shirt. For my fur babies. Oh, I forgot. I also got a ton of... Broccoli? Broccoli. Broccoli. And some Diet Coke. Yeah, I'm done. This was underneath the broccoli. Also, some fresh cherries. So I did get cherries. When I said earlier cherries, when I was showing you strawberries, here are the cherries. Okay, you guys, hello. It is the next day. Um, so is that Monday? Because it was the 20th. So the 21st is Monday. She's almost caught up. Damn, I'm, I'm behind, and our girl's almost caught up. I'm going to have a little taste test moment. So... Dunkin' Donuts has refreshers, and you know what? Me and my girlfriend are curious what they taste like. So we got all four flavors. This is the huh. passion fruit refresher, strawberry dragon fruit refresher. This is the strawberry coconut refresher, and then golden peach coconut refresher. Pressure. So I I'm going to try them. I haven't heard of these, camera. but I don't. Not. And then I'll tell you guys what her favorite is and what my favorite is. But I don't go to Dunkin' really. The straws in them. Max girlfriend used right to now, love we're Dunkin'. Actually dinner. Our go-to. Um, jasmine rice, broccoli, and meatballs. <laughs> we're doing honey garlic meatballs. I usually tend to the broccoli and the rice. I actually know how to cook rice from scratch now because of her. All right, first thing, passion fruit. It's not that hard. One cup of rice, two cups of water. <laughs> Let it boil until the, until the rice absorbs the water. What's so hard about that? Even I can make frickin' rice. Our peach fruit? What is this? I don't remember. Peach oh, fruit? Peach passion fruit. Wow. I like it. Sweet. Ugh, this is the coconut. Mm. Strawberry coconut. I don't like that one as much. Strawberry coconut sounds weird. Peach coconut. Peach coconut? Don't like that one as much. I don't think you like coconut, and girl. Strawberry dragon fruit. I just don't think she likes coconut. She, she, she tried the coconut water. She didn't like that. I don't like coconut water either, but I do like rum that's flavored like coconut for some reason. Mm. Okay. These are my faves. So definitely without the coconut. Now we're gonna dwindle it down to just one. What was Ooh, the rest? It tastes good, but if I had to choose, the winner for me is the strawberry dragon fruit refresher with no coconut. We okay, have a winner. So it's official. We both hate the ones with the coconut. Both. And her favorite is the same as mine. So these are our top two. But I'm gonna let her have this one, and then I'm gonna have this one because I do enjoy it. 
Oh, isn't that sweet? Aww. Also, you guys, I have finished my that actually looks Lego really cool right here. So we're gonna put it somewhere for decor. Okay, you guys. So this is my next Lego. I saw these world maps, and I actually thought about buying one. <laughs> oh, why did Amber Lynn and I have the same taste in Legos? It is the world map. This is Legos wall art type where it's mainly just a bunch of these, but I also have these that go with it. All of these. There's a bunch of like, mm -hmm. actually, I don't even know what they're called, but it's what these go on. It's kind of the so, backboard, the base yeah, of the this world. This one has. Map. Over 11,000 pieces. So this is gonna take a hot minute. Hey guys, so it is. Yeah, so it's actually really, let me nerd out about Legos really quick here. So the world maps are actually really cool. They show different patterns and stuff where you can put in like, like the ocean currents and like different like temperatures of the water. But there's just a lot of different really cool patterns that you can do for the water. Um, if I think of it while I'm editing, I will pop up some pictures of it, but it's actually really cool. <laughs> it's the next day, the 22nd. Um, so update on the whole 100 days of weighing in. I'm no longer going to be sharing that with YouTube right now because I'm just, I'm at a really bad spot with my eating disorder. And I am so glad I finally took the plunge to get help. I'm just really, really anticipating in like a really good way to finally see someone about this, the actual person that I should have been seeing from the very beginning. Like even yes. years and years and years ago when I noticed my binging was getting worse, I should have gotten this type of help before it got so out of hand. But I do want to show you guys my weigh-in for today. So we're like on the same page, the same wavelength because, you know, my channel is not a weight loss channel. It's a channel about me. But I really feel like, obviously, a large portion of my life right now is trying to live with an eating disorder without letting it ruin my life while trying to diet. Well, it's like all a vicious cycle because like dieting is making my eating disorder worse, which. She goes back and forth about what her channel is, whether it's weight loss or not. But regardless, with doing the weigh-ins every single day and uploading them, she is setting herself up for criticism. And if that is affecting her negatively, which she has said before that it does, then she should stop doing it because she is, she, she has decided to seek help finally, which I hope, hope, hope she sticks with that and does it actually because she really needs that external help. But as far as the weigh ins, making them public and, and then being able to have that criticism and have it affect her negatively gave her 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 excuses or her ammunition to say, well, it's your guys' fault that I'm doing this because you're being mean to me in my comments and you're negatively affecting my mental health. When it's, you know, that that could be part of it, but it's also her and her binge eating disorder. And, you know, hopefully she will get the help that she needs and be able to find better coping mechanisms. Is making me gain weight, but then it's like this vicious circle cycle and I'm just so excited to finally see someone who can help me, who literally specializes in this. Anyways, so here was my answer today. We're at a 503.6. That is horrible. <laughs> I feel it. Like, yeah. I was just talking to my girlfriend today. I was like, it's so weird. By the way, the lighting's really bad in here. I'm sorry. So it's, she's making, she almost makes it sound like this is some new novel idea. Seeing a specialist, a, a uh, therapist that specializes in eating disorders. But people have been telling her for years that she needs to see someone that specializes in eating disorders. Look at that little baby goo. It's like so weird how normally a few pounds, you can't notice a difference, but it's like whatever I get back to like the 500s, even something as simple as 503, 
my breathing's bad. My legs are super swollen. It's harder to walk. Like, it's so crazy. Like, the difference between, like, 495 versus 503, and that's only, like, 8 pounds. The difference in... 500 pounds on her frame has got to be difficult. Absolutely. The way my body feels is insane to me. Hey, guys. So it is the next day today. So right now I'm just having a TV dinner. Um, Amy's bowl. It's the next day today. Does that make sense? So I'm having a TV dinner. <laughs> Amy's. She's so it's the 22nd? It's Tuesday for her, it looks like? Faves just gave the cat some wet food, gave Twinkie some wet food. They all eat dry food, but um, a couple times a week I do give them wet food because it's good for them. So, by the way, when it comes to my outpatient program I will be starting when I say psychology okay. my eating disorder, I think people were confused. They thought it was a month away because I said it's next month, but next month is literally right around the corner. What I mm -hmm. meant to say, it's like two weeks away, so it's very, very close, and I'm just like really excited. I don't know if like I already mentioned that in this vlog already. So or like not. first week of this March, vlog is, like days upon days of just like nothingness at this point. But yeah, today's been just kind of like a busy day, a laundry day. I've done three loads of laundry, and then I also cleaned the sheets on the bed. So don't forget to do that. Anyways, I'm on this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right. So nothing really bad in that one. Um, it's good that she is finally seeking the help that she needs. I am so glad she's doing that. And if she needs to step away from doing weight loss content and just doing just regular vlogging and hauls and stuff for her mental health while she's working with the therapist, then she should absolutely do that and just be like, hey guys, look, while I am going through this program, they've they've kind of wanted me to step back from, from from doing this publicly because of X, Y, and Z. I mean, she was told previously to, to stop doing YouTube if it affected her mental health, but she didn't want to do that. So I just really hope that this therapist that she's going to be working with in this program, that she listens to them. Because we know that she has a history of changing therapist frequently if they don't tell her what she wants to hear. So I just really hope this one works for her. Uh, it sounds like it'll be either the, the first week of February or the first full week of February. So I meant March here. I don't know why I said February. Um, no, I, I just want to see her do better and get healthier because like I've mentioned before, I had I had a half sister that passed away when I was like 12 or 13 that was probably Amberlynn's size, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, and she passed away in her early 30s, maybe like 36, 34, something like that. She was in her early 30s. And Amberlynn's approaching that age and it, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's scary. It really is. Um, just to know that their body just shut down because it just couldn't do it anymore. So I really don't want to see that happen to Amber Lynn. I may be critical of her and the things that she does because of her attitude and the way that she treats people, but I would like to see her get healthier and take care of herself. So anyway, that being said, I hope you all are having a better week than I am. And I will, I guess, see you next time. Be safe and take care.